Oh, Mr. Bill Wilson. I owe you an apology, sir. Big snakes revisited on the range. All right, on the 25 yard line, pistol range today, revisiting the Colt Anaconda in a humble fashion. I owe Mr. Bill Wilson an apology. And I'm here, sir, to apologize for my initial thoughts when you mentioned in one of your videos that you had started that Colt got the Anaconda and the Python 2021, 2022 right, but it had one big flea, and that was the rear sights. I got to tell you, I immediately thought, okay, Mr. Wilson, I've had a lot of respect for you throughout the years, own a few of your firearms, very proud of them. Great work. If you need a perfect, in my view, 1911, check out Mr. Wilson, Bill Wilson. You'll find him Googling. I thought immediately, folks, he's, he's talking us out of our cash. Now, Mr. Wilson is just taking our cash. Because to me, in my initial impressions video, you saw it, I hope you saw it. If you didn't see it, go over to dayattherange.com and you'll see what I'm talking about. I thought the Colt Anaconda, quite frankly, was perfect. This is a Colt Anaconda, six inch barrel. The only thing I griped about was the back strap being exposed on the, um, with the Hogue rubber grips that does have the Colt emblem on them. It's the only thing I griped about. Mr. Wilson said, that's okay. It's the rear sight that screwed up. So I went back and took a look at that old rear sight that came on the coat and lo and behold, would you know folks, that thing, man, this is the difference between an experienced eye and a non-experienced eye, especially when it pertains to manufacturing parts for revolvers or pistols in general, pistols and revolvers. The rear sight was loose. And I noticed I didn't have the top screw screwed in to keep it from being loose. That explains some of the accuracy I was getting in the previous video. So I tightened that screw down and man, it was still loose. Just the fit was not good for this pistol. And I noticed easily bump up and down. The other thing I noticed is the original sight is a thickness of 0.770. The Wilson sight is almost one inch in thickness. This thing is serrated, has a square notch in the rear. And of course I said, well, Mr. Wilson's talked me out of some money because I got the rear sight, the Wilson rear sight and also the gold bead front dot. And I will tell you that gold bead front dot is absolutely made for this thing. It sits perfectly in between the two. And that's what we're gonna do today a little less talking and more shooting, revisiting the Colt Anaconda with the Bill Wilson rear sights on it. Let's go. All right, folks, here we go. I got six rounds, 240 grain, Federal American Eagle Red Box. Loaded up in this thing, 10 yards down range. Let's see what we could do with Mr. Wilson's sight. And we're gonna go double action on this thing. Ooh, those gold B front dot sight. Two forties are cooking. Oh, Ooh, wait, you guys checking that out? Dead center. Oh, easy eject. 240 grain. American Red Box Federal, Federal American Eagle Red Box. Yes, sir, out of the Colt Anaconda. This gold bead front dot sight, I gotta say, Mr. Wilson, you did your job there. It is much better than the red ramp that was on there. I noticed with the red ramp, with the old rear sight, there was a lot of daylight on each side. Um, and I gotta tell you, again, yes, sir, I'm here to give you a public apology because this is the business. Let's do some more shooting. 
<laughs> oh, I don't built up my confidence, folks. Check it out. These are my buddies, Big E's, my brother from another mother, 265 grain, my own loads, my own loads. Not going to tell you what it is. If you want to see what it is, go over to dayattherange.com because YouTube will kick me off this thing if I tell you. But anyways, I'm feeling cocky. <laughs> oh, single action. Here we go. And one-handed. Shoot a little left. And we're going to go double action for the last one. Nice, smooth trigger pull. Should be six. Oh, falls out. Nice and smooth. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, can, what else can I tell you about? Hey, you know what? This is the second iteration of the Colt Anaconda from 2022. And if you want to know more about this thing, I got a previous video where I did the initial overall review to give you a little bit more. The one thing, hey, look, if you're a reloader, if you are a reloader and you love 44 mag, you got to have one of these. The cylinder on this thing is a little bit longer than Sammy Speck at 1.9 inches, just a hair longer, which allows you to load your pills a little bit longer than Sammy Speck. You know what that means. You put a little bit more powder in it. And also, I think Colt exactly knew what was going to happen with the reloaders market because they increase the frame strength and thickness by 30% also. I think they knew what they were doing when they created this. Hey, you know what? Let's go back to 20 yards. See what we can do. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Isn't this a beautiful setup? Not only do I have the Wilson combat sights on this Colt Anaconda 2022, I've got this thing sitting on one of the most versatile pistol rests. Ransom, multi-caliber, steady rest. Ooh, stock aluminum. This is a beautiful setup. Let's see. If I can do this thing justice at 20 yards from this rest, hush, Josh. I don't want to hear about you talking about me shooting from a rest. Let's see. You put a pistol in your hand, sir. All right. Here we go. Single action. My confidence up high. Ooh, that's high. Dead center. Not too bad. All right, ooh, that was a little flinch there, big fella. Hey, you know what, folks? That one shot real high. Let's take out some more of these Federal American Eagle. We're gonna get six more. Six more from 20 yards. See how this thing do with the Wilson Sykes. That first one, that flyer, that was all me. Let's keep this thing rolling. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, folks. Oh, yeah, it's a hog and a deer getter. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. And this is my attempt at a humble apology to Mr. Bill Wilson. I thought he was a devil with a slick tongue trying to talk us out of our cash. But I'm telling you right now, that is absolutely not true.
Look at those rear sights on the Colt Python and Colt Anaconda, folks. Look at those rear sights. And I don't know, on mine, it was a little sloppy in that groove and notch. And if you don't remember to tighten down that little Allen screw on the top of the original rear sight, that thing moves a little bit. And I think that explains my first outing and not being as accurate as I wanted it to be from 20 yards. You see what I just did with 12 rounds, right? I'm very, very proud of that. And that is because of Colt Manufacturing with Bill Wilson. <laughs> These are adjustable battle Colt Python and Anaconda sights. Go check them out, folks. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Mr. Revolver Guy, I'm going home.